Yo, Bob, tell them the boxing souls deal with them. Easy, JBZ, I represent, you know. Mr. Killer say, yo, this is the biggest and the bodies association. You don't know once you're associated with JBZ, everything easy. You don't know big up the boxing souls. Mr. Killer representing for that joint, man. What's going on, folks? Boxing Source here, and we wanted to talk about the upcoming fight, December 31st, that will take place in the Ota City General Gymnasium in Japan. You're going to have Kazuto Ioka versus Kosei Tanaka for the WBO Super Flyweight Championship. Now, due to the time zone, if you're over here in America and the East Coast, the live telecast would be taking place at 5 a.m. Eastern Time or 2 a.m. Pacific Time. But can't catch it live. Most likely, it will be available on YouTube or something like that. But uh, this is a real big type of fight uh, in Japan. Uh, this is Kazuto Ioka's second um fight well actually you could say it's his third consecutive fight on the last day of the year uh back in 2018 he fought Don in the to a real close fight ended up uh being short by a split decision for the wbo super flyweight title uh in 2019 he fought Hadia Centrone for the same wbo super flyweight title uh, but he had already won it against Asin Police. Uh, but against Javier Cintron, he was able to get a unanimous decision win. So now, here we are, coming up on December 31st, 2020. It'll be Kazuto Yoka versus Kosei Tanaka. Now, uh, I did talk about a couple of fights that Yoka did have uh, over the past couple of years. But to break them down... He has a record of 25 wins and two losses with 14 KOs. And he's ranked around the um, Ring Magazine and the Transnational Boxing Rankings Board uh, around the third ranked super flyweight going up against Kosei Tanaka, who is 15-0 with nine KOs. And he's moving up in weight. Uh, he is coming up from flyweight to super flyweight uh, and is ranked around pretty much number one in the flyweight division. Now, with Kazuru Yoka, right, he had in his seventh professional fight a stoppage victory over CP Freshmart to win the WBC minimum weight title. Uh, then he unified against Akiro Yagashi with the WBC and WBA minimum weight titles, moved up to light flyweight, fought and defeated Jose Rodriguez, got the WBA light flyweight title, um, did also face I'm Not Run Wrong for the IVF flyweight title, but ended up losing. That was his first loss. But then he ended up winning the WBA flyweight title against Juan Carlo Rebeco. And, uh, you know, like I was saying there, uh, when he moved up to super flyweight, he did have that close loss to Donnie Nietes, but defeated Austin Police State for the WBO Super Flyweight title. So he has been a, you know, a multiple division world champion, minimum weight, light flyweight, flyweight, and super flyweight. Going up against Kosei Tanaka, uh, who in his fifth professional fight did win the WBO minimum weight title against Julian Yedras. And then took on Moises Fuentes at light flyweight. Won by TKO in the fifth round uh, to win the WBO light flyweight title. Uh, and did also uh, face Angel Acosta and defeated him by unanimous decision. And against Sho Kimura, he also won by majority decision for the WBO flyweight title. So... He has been the WBO minimum weight title holder, the WBO light flyweight title holder, and the WBO flyweight title holder, and wants to become a four-division champion with a win over Kazuto Ioka. 
Uh, you had Kazuto Ioka with uh, measurements at five foot four with a 65 and a half inch reach. Kosei Tanaka is a little bit taller at five foot four and a half, but has a 64 and a half inch reach. And this is going to be an all action fight. Um, like I said, this was one that could be a potential um, late entrant, very, very late entrant. Uh, for 2020 fight of the year, um, you know, even though uh, a lot of um, boxing writing writers or boxing organizations have kind of like put in their vote, uh, including, you know, myself saying that Jose Cepeda versus Ivan Perancic is the fight of the year in 2020. But, hey, some things could change. And with this particular fight here. Uh, with the action that uh, a lot of people are looking forward to in this bout with Kazuto Yoka and Kosei Tanaka, they could really make their case to have this as me in the 2020 fight of the year. That is the uh, quick preview there between Yoka and Tanaka. We look forward for that fight to take place on Thursday, December 31st. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more news and notes and you could also catch the podcast that is on itunes google Podcasts, spotify whatever you use for your uh, podcast app on that note folks i'm out peace